So I have received a mystery package here in the office. I think it's pretty cool. Nathan already took a peek inside of the box. It says it reminds him of Lara Croft, the latest Tomb Raider movie. What is inside of this mystery package? I'm not too sure of yet. I'm excited to open it. Let's get into it. So to start off, it comes with this brown paper bag on top of it. Very eco-friendly. I'm a fan of eco-friendliness. I don't know what this is for. It's pretty blank. There's nothing inside of it, but this is the box itself. Now, if you can see that, if you can pick that up on the camera, it looks to have this, you know the Egyptian calligraphy that you'd see in the ancient pyramids? This is what the box is covered with. It feels nice. It is embossed. There's no information on the box whatsoever. So let's see what's inside of it. Here we are. So right off the bat, there is a note. Not too sure what's in the note. We're going to open this up. This is all new to me. Maybe it's like some, some cool message. Maybe you're supposed to send this to someone. With warmth and understanding at this time of missing you and friendship that is yours for tomorrow. Happy every day. Look at that embossment. That's a high quality envelope right there. So, what else is inside of the box? Okay, okay. So there's a little tiny pouch. We're gonna get into that in a sec. I don't know what that is. And then it comes with this. This thing is heavy. It is solid metal. What? What the heck did we get ourselves into? So, first let's check out what's inside of this tiny package. All right, so you have a couple of chains. Not bad, you have an Allen key, a little tiny screw set. You have a fancier chain. You have a second fancy chain that's a bit smaller. And that is it. Is there something we're missing? With warmth and understanding at this time and friendship that is yours all for all the tomorrow, for all the so there is a code that we need to unlock to open what's inside of here. There's no other clue, except it gives us this stuff. Am I supposed to attach the keychain to this? I feel like the package inside of this safe or this mystery item is going to be cool. I don't even know where to start. How many letters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many lines of things are this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mmm. One, two, three, four, five. Nathan, what do you think it is? There's no, there's no hint to the code. What do I do? I don't even know. Okay, here we are. So there's clearly a line here where the code is supposed to line up. DIY greeting card. So I, I feel like this has nothing to do with it. I feel like this is just, this is just something someone put inside. Love is not just looking at each other, it's looking with each other. Is there anything else inside of this Egyptian box? There's nothing. Oh, well. Nathan believes that this card is the key to unlocking this with warmth. I swear, if the word, if the code to unlock this is warmth, I'm gonna be the greatest detective in the world. W, A, R, oh, where's the M? Oh, shoot, oh, okay, well, there we go. A, but where's the R? Warmth, there we are, unlock. Dang it, how the, is there any writing on this? It just looks fancy, it looks cool. There's absolutely no writing on this thing. It's clearly supposed to come out. There's no doubt about that, what if you like, Nathan, what do we do? Wait, I got an idea. So Google Pixel 3 XL is gonna come to the rescue. If we activate our camera, we're gonna go to Google Lens, which apparently knows exactly. Oh, 2018 The Da Vinci, woo! All right, Google, come on, what you got? What you got for us? It came up with this thing called The Da Vinci. I'm not sure if that's our exact model. We're gonna click on it. It looks pretty similar. It looks the exact same. The DaVinci Code 
cryptic alphabet lock wedding ring box. How do we solve it though? Ours was a bit different. Ooh. So we can sort of see the way it sort of see the way it locks. So obviously each letter contains a code and that is how it is used to unlock. But how do we do it? So the code I saw was you're supposed to say I love and then you is supposedly the code. Woo! Google! What would I do without you? Now is that not a cool puzzle? Look at that. So inside of it, you have two wedding rings. It looks reminiscent of what you'd find in Lord of the Rings. The one ring to rule them all. Let's take them out. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? You can't. Okay. I was going to say, you can't even take them out. You can take them out. There we go. That is a pretty cool puzzle. It is made out of solid metal. So if you're giving this to the love of your life. Oh, that makes sense. Happy every day because you're about to get married. Ah, uh, very cute. Still creepy. Kind of cute. Now, obviously, if you were giving this to someone, you would probably replace these rings with your own rings. They feel they feel OK. They're like a cheap, cheap aluminum, cheap steel. What does it say on it? Eh, I don't know. It's in some... It's in a different language. Can you pick that up? Look at that language. If anyone can decrypt these for me, greatly appreciate it. But no, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. If you're going to give this to the love of your life, obviously, once again, replace it with your own rings. Make it something romantic. Give them a fat diamond. And there it is. Back inside of its original packaging. Look at how slick that is. Imagine... If there was a fat diamond sticking out of there and your husband or wife unlocked it, whoo! All right, I love you. Let's put it back. Let's leave it for someone else. Change that last letter up. That was pretty cool. I'm happy. That made me pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie.